This video isn't going to be easy for me to make, but I feel like I should make it to let you guys know that because of this, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break. I'm not going to be on here for, I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's probably going to take me just a few days or maybe a few weeks. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be taking a break and you might have to excuse me if I start getting a little bit emotional. Earlier before I turned on my computer, my grandfather passed away. I was really close to him. I was really, really close to him. And I just got a lot to tell about him. I have a lot to tell about him right now. And you guys, if you had a grandfather like I had, you would, you would have had an amazing life. You know, he was such an amazing man. I was really close to him. He was a Vietnam War veteran. He fought in the Vietnam War for two years. And he's been through a lot of, you know, really rough health scares, you know, before his death that just happened. Not Only like maybe at least 10 minutes ago. Because of his time in the military, he lost his hearing, and when he turned 54 years old, he had a massive heart attack, and part of that was caused by a certain weapon that was used in his time in the military that affected his heart. And because of that massive heart attack, he ended up surviving it. You know, I was three years old when that when that heart attack happened. Uh, he lived for 20 years after that. 20 more years until earlier. And the cause of his death, see, he was having a lot of trouble breathing. Because of his massive heart attack, it really started to affect his lungs, and he just started having trouble breathing. And I don't know the exact cause, but I'm just going to narrow it down to breathing problems right now. But you combine with the fact that his heart was so weak because of the massive heart attack that he survived. He's been through a lot of really bad health scares. He's always been a walking miracle. But now was his time to go. He was 75 years old, by the way. He lived for three quarters of a century. And I just really want to talk about him in general and my relationship with him. See, I always got along with him, but it wasn't until I was 10 years old that me and him got really close. He was the one that taught me the birds and the bees when I was 10 years old. Uh, he taught me a bunch of other really good life lessons as well. And he was the first person that I ever cooked for. I was 10 years old. The first thing I ever cooked was a breakfast meal for my grandfather. Bacon, scrambled eggs, and toasted butter on it. Oh, and hot chocolate too. He always bragged about my cooking ever since that time. He always loved the breakfast that I that I always made him. Yeah. And I have a lot of great memories with him too. He, he and I, see, you guys know I used to make a lot of wrestling content on here. Yeah, I do kind of still with the games, but me and him used to love watching wrestling together. He used to love watching wrestling. He used to, to tell me about his favorite wrestlers when he was growing up, Dick the Bruiser, Bobo Brazil, Kabuki, Gorgeous George, you know, all those really old wrestlers from back then, and Haystacks Calhoun, you know. And he and I, and my grandmother too, I've, I've always been closer to my grandmother, but it's not saying much. I was always really close to both my grandparents. We, he and me and them, my grandparents, and my mom and dad, you went to two, uh, actually, actually three, three WWE house shows. I've been to four, but we took them on three. He loved watching wrestling with me. It was, it was part, it was a part of our tradition in, in that household. I always visit them a lot. I spent a lot of nights with them and for the last, you know, couple months before he just passed. Me and I had to take a big part in helping him out, you know. That's the reason why, you know, 
I was I haven't been as active on my channel as I wanted to be. And I had to take a bunch of care of him because he couldn't walk on his own, you know, for the last few weeks. And he's gone now. I really am going to miss him. I really am. He, he meant the absolute world to me. And I had a great relationship with him. I would say he was one of, one of the top three members of the family that I'm close that I'm the closest to. He was a great man. He was a very selfless man. I had a lot of fun with him. He was a really funny person as well. Sorry. I'm gonna miss him. I am. If you decide, any of you decide that you didn't want to, that you didn't want to watch this video, I understand. I don't want to bring you guys down with me. But for those who did choose to sit through this video and listen to, to me mourn my grandfather, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube for a while to give myself some time to move on and to let go. So yeah, whenever I'm done, I'll be back with a, with a new video. I don't know how long it'll be. It'll be a few weeks, maybe if just a few days. Sometimes I grieve longer. Sometimes I grieve shorter. I'm just kind of weird like that. Uh, but yeah, rest in peace, Papa. That's what, that's what I called him, Papa. I know he's in a better place now. I know he's in heaven. I believe in heaven. I know I know not a lot of you do, but I do. I believe in heaven. And I know he's up there right now. He's not suffering anymore. Rest in peace. And thank you for thank you to the people who decided to sit sit through this. Thank you. And I'll be back in probably a few days or weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take me to grieve, but I will be back. See you guys soon.